First section, profiling business. This first section is called profiling business. How do you target the right types of companies and how do those companies reflect the vision of your community? Well, before we get into that, we'll ask ourselves three different questions. Why profile in the first place? How to profile, understanding the vision that your community has? And how do you develop personas or profiles to actually go out and target? The reason to profile is quite simple. Competitiveness across the globe continues to increase. In fact, our data and estimates show that there's roughly 750,000 corporate relocations every single year. This means the competition for investment and attraction across the globe is changing. Now, part of what you need to do as you move into the, the targeting and profile segment of your project or your process is to understand what the community has in terms of a vision. What are the assets that you already have in place in your community that you could use for targeting? And what are the industries in place that you could also use for targeting? That is a baseline and essential tool to target, and we're gonna get into that in later segments. But in order to target right now, you really need to understand a couple, a couple variables. The first is, when identifying a company to target, you have to look at, is there new leadership in place? Has there been a new product or patent or technology on the market? Has there been a recent cash flow or infusion to the company? And what are the market forces at play? The second piece you need to look at if you're targeting the kind of the retention of projects is what's the impact on the community? If we attract an advanced manufacturing company to a community that's really a tourist destination, what are the impacts gonna be for our stakeholders, for our residents, for the workforce that's there? What's the direct payroll that is gonna come and be associated with it? What are the indirect and induced impacts? And how do, you, how do you model this out? So these are all questions that you need to ask yourself when targeting expansion or recruitment projects. Conversely, if you're trying to continue to attract uh, recruitment projects, you're gonna ask similar questions. However, those questions are gonna be more tailored to workforce. So you can't go ahead and attract the next Apple if you don't have the highly skilled and technical workforce to do it. It's really a matching game. Think of it like a dating site. If you were to attract you know, your, your mate or a potential company, there has to be a good fit and good synergy. And before there's a good fit or a good synergy, there has to be acceptance by the community that that company is suitable or that industry is suitable to be in your community. Now, one of the things that you need to consider when profiling business is who you're gonna target. So we've established that for a community, there has to be buy-in around the types of industries that make sense for a community, whether it's advanced manufacturing, IT, logistics, distribution, development. There has to be some kind of buy-in as to what types of industries make sense for your community. Once you have what types of industries that make sense for your community and you understand the factors that go into targeting those communities or those companies, I should say, then you can target specific personas at that company. And you'll ask really specific questions like, who are their ideal targets? Who are your ideal targets? What are your goals and challenges? What are your limitations? How can you most effectively reach this audience? And what types of content do they digest? So in order to, to speak the right language, business language to a company, you have to ask the right questions. And in order to ask the right questions, we, we talk about building personas, fictional characters that describe the type of executive you're going after. So for example, this is one that we made up for a test case. His name is Manufacturing Mark. Manufacturing Mark is 45 to 65 in age. His general title could be COO, CEO, Director of Real Estate. He has around 50 to 150 employees, and he's obviously in the manufacturing industry from the United States. Now you can see that we're targeting a certain, a certain character, a certain profile here. We've described, as you can read the content, what he does on a day-to-day -day ba basis. With his responsibilities ranging from business development to finance, he's committed to the growth of his business and insists on being involved in most of the business processes. Because of this, his schedule is full. He's never needed a dedicated site selector to, to choose his location for him, but he's interested in learning more. This process is all new to him, and he's looking for expertise and finding the right facility for his location. Now you see, 
as I explain that to you, how specific I got. One of the things that I would teach and encourage you guys to do is get very specific as to who you're profiling, his age or her age, the types of content that they produce. So for somebody like Manufacturing Mark, who is around that age group and deals with numbers a lot, the type of content that I would probably give Mark about my location would probably be in the form of an Excel spreadsheet. Our next persona is the site selection persona. In investment promotion, for those of you guys who aren't aware, there are agents called site selectors. Their whole job is to select locations for companies. So you may have heard of the Amazon project that is happening or Apple's relocation project that's happening. Both of those companies employ site selection consultants. Those consultants are specialized in workforce, demographic trends, property analysis, but what they don't have is the government background. So here's an example of a profile of a young site selector. Her name's Sarah. She's between the ages of 40 and 50 and the owner and managing broker of a corporate solutions company. Uh, she's based out of Chicago. She works for a nationally recognized brand. She's well-versed in market trends and analytics. She's responsible for finding new locations for her clients. And to be clear, there's roughly in the profession, and I'm gonna go ahead and draw this out for you so, so you can kind of understand what, what we're working with. In the profession, there's roughly 2,500 site consultants. 2,500 site consultants, and in terms of investment promotion communities, there's roughly 7,500 communities vying, as I mentioned before, for 750,000 relocations every year. So the point of this is companies are moving with or without you. How do you use personas to target them? The last example of a persona in a community is the entrepreneurial persona. Now, a lot of organizations and a lot of communities try to attract investment from the outside and don't necessarily take into account the entrepreneur investor or the entrepreneur that's not only in their community but outside of their community. This persona is targeted to them. This is entrepreneur Eric. He's between 25 and 45. He's the CEO of a um, growing startup. He's in charge of a large company. He makes all the major decisions. This is a sweet spot of company executives that choose their location based on their preferences. So to profile business, we just learned three critical points. The first is, why profile in the first place? The answer to that is, without a profile, you lack focus. So the highest performing investment and attraction communities and organizations are profiling to increase their focus. The second thing we learned is how to profile based on understanding your community's vision. So after you understand the assets that are in your community, the vision that your community has for itself, then there's a method to profile companies. The third thing that we learned is how to develop personas and profiles to target by developing very specific narrative around their interests, their challenges, their limitations, and what they need moving forward. So that ends this section of profiling business.